Hi guys, welcome to an episode of Luke's Garage. Today we're going to have a quick look at the 15 watt uh, lasers they sell in China or sell to everywhere from China. Now, I bought one of these a long, long time ago, um, but I think I've had it in my garage for well over a year and I haven't done anything with it. And um, some guys were asking if uh, I've run some tests, so I figured I'd, I'd do that for them. Uh, so what I've done is hooked it up. It was quite easy to hook up. I mean, I've got mine on my Beaver Pro at the moment, and um, it's hardwired. Um, I created a number of different switches uh, originally, which allowed me to turn different things on. So, for instance, I've got my um, uh, electrics, my motor, my spindle, and now I've got a laser. Anyway, um, in short, you've got a number of wires. You've got a red and a black there, which are 12 volt in and out. You've then got a PWM and ground, and that just feeds to your PW on the ground. And it really is as straightforward as that. Um, I haven't mounted it yet, I'm working on that. And we'll have a mount uh, devised in the next few hours. But um, here's a first look at it. Um, now it says it's a 15 watt laser. I can absolutely believe that it does seem quite powerful. Um, and really it's quite straightforward. There is a little button on here which um, allows you to um, turn on a blue pointer I guess is to show where it is so you can see where it is you turn it off turns it off anyway um, all you need to do is uh, use a spindle command to start it so what I'm going to do is put my glasses on because you know safety and all and then I'm going to start it off at um, 10,000 so the moment it's burning at 10,000 uh, oh sorry that relates to my spindle speed it's probably about just under half power and you can see it's quite easily etching this MDF. I'm going to move it slowly. We can draw a line. It seems like quite a nice focused dot, probably half a mil or so in diameter. But it's doing stuff. If we want to turn it up, I can just bump that to 24,000, so this is full power. Um, turn it off and then start it again so now we're on full power and you can see quite quickly you know it's smoking and it's going to set my smoke alarm off probably quite yeah it's going to be some pretty dark burns anyway i kind of hope that's useful um it certainly seems cool i'm gonna have a great time um uh, making a mount for this thing now um what i've done in particular oh smoky is um, fitted a quick connector to it. Now, because I've got safety switches, I'm not too worried about everything, um, but I do not want to have this connected at all times because I do a lot of aluminium, uh, possibly oil, and all sorts can go wrong there. So what I'm gonna do is have it as a quick connection to be able to remove it as and when I want to. And I'm gonna have this, the um, actual unit itself mount on the side of my spindle just here with a magnetic connector. So just to give you a feel, something, something like that. Nice and straightforward. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully that's been useful and we'll see what happens. Cheers, guys.